Whether it's a standard flow meter with modular pulse DC technology, a high-performance AC pulsed flow meter, or a battery-operated electromagnetic water meter, an electromagnetic flow meter from the Siemens Citrons FM product line facilitates flow rate management. Today we are going to show you the basic setup of your Siemens flow meter, and in part 2 of this series the basic programming of the flow meter transmitter. You should now have your product unboxed and have your flow tube. Citrons transmitter. A quick start guide. An instructions booklet. A CD-ROM. And a terminal board with ground wire. The first step to setting up your Siemens flow meter is to access the components of the flow sensor beneath the black cover of the junction box. So let's first remove the cover by removing the two screws each side of the cover. Now you will be able to see two black plugs, one larger, one smaller. The larger plug is for the electrode circuit. The smaller one is for the coil circuit. Next to these you will also see the flow meter sensor prom which contains the calibration data and settings specific to your flow meter. Should this sensor prom ever be lost or damaged and you need to recalibrate the meter then please watch our video explaining the options of what to do. Just click here or in the links in the description below to watch that video. The next step is to position the two black plugs to each side of the casing to allow for the installation of the terminal board. Using the terminal board that was supplied in the accessory packet of the transmitter, place the board into the junction box by first connecting the earth cable to the central screw mount. Note that grounding options may vary in different regions. Next, ensure that the socket for the sensor prom on the terminal board are aligned with the pins of the sensor prom and gently press into place. Once in place, tighten the two screws attaching the terminal board to the main body. The two black plugs disconnected earlier are now ready to be plugged into the terminal board. These plugs have numbers molded into them. Match these numbers with the numbers found on the terminal board and tighten the connections using a screwdriver to complete the circuits. On the large plug also connect the small ground cable to the board as shown. Finally, connect the mains power wires through the side conduit hole of the junction box using the supplied conduit connector and secure these wires to the power terminal using your screwdriver. This completes the wiring of the junction box. At this point it is worth running through a quick checklist. Check the ground wire is tightly secured to the metal plate on the bottom of the terminal box. Check the two screws securing the board to the junction box are tightened. Check the black plugs are securely screwed into their respective terminal blocks with numbers matching and that the ground wire is connected on the large plug is also secured. And finally, ensure the mains power wiring has been connected correctly and securely. If all of these are correct then let's continue. The final step is to mount the flow transmitter upon the now wired junction box. To do this align the sockets at the bottom of the transmitter with those in the junction box. Once aligned place the transmitter straight on top of the junction box and press gently down to solidly seat the transmitter. Then tighten the two screws on the side of the transmitter box. Mains power can now be applied to the transmitter. The device will take a few seconds to initialize. The operator screen will be displayed and the device will be ready to measure flow through the pipe. On the display you will see a large number which represents the flow rate. And a smaller number displaying the totalizer. At this point, the transmitter can be further configured to meet your specific needs by accessing the programming menu of the transmitter and making the desired changes. For more information on how to program settings of the Siemens Citrons transmitter, please watch the next video in this series by clicking here or in the links in the description below. If you have any queries about these products feel free to contact the Acrodyne engineering team for how Siemens flow meters could be successfully deployed on your project. Please be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of any future videos and click the links in the description below for more information about the products featured.